Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. Now, I've been doing this whole media ministry thing for quite a while now. And out of all the churches and emails and comments and phone calls, um, there's one <laughs> answer that I give all the time for most of, I would probably say 90% of the questions that I get. And that's mainly that the system you're using does not have enough power. So what I wanted to do is I just built a fresh system right here with the slowest processor that I possibly have. And we're just gonna go through and show you firsthand so you can see for yourself, um, kind of do a case study of the performance of what you will get in a system that is underpowered. I have my PlayStation hooked up to it. I got another camera. I have my A10 mini, the first one I ever had connected to this. And we're just gonna take a test to just show you what I'm talking about when we say that you need more power. All right, so first off, before we get started, let's go ahead and cut over to the system. This is a fresh install. I literally just built the system. Specs are down below. And the first processor that I am using is a um, AMD AM4 200 GE and this is the bottom of the barrel and when it comes to processors so like right now let me change my screen here so I can see it a little bit better now let's go over here and just look at the specs of this system here and task manager and like I literally just finished putting this system together maybe uh, 15 minutes ago all right, so let's go ahead and change this to our logical processors. Right now, it is two, th um, two cores and four threads. Um, it's a, it is bare bones. So right here it says two cores and four threads. And it does have a GPU built into it. And we're gonna be pushing this thing to the max right now. I can't remember the exact specs of the full range of the CPU. This is just the slowest processor that I had at the time. Um, I have 16 gigs of memory and that's it. Um, the only thing installed on this system right now, and I got my other mouse in the way, the only, thing I have installed on the system is the Blackmagic um, ATEM software so that it can just recognize the ATEM Mini and I have OBS. That is it. Nothing else has been installed. I think Windows may have pushed whatever updates it needs, but there is nothing else on this system. So if we open this up, let's look at it. I mean, it is a fresh drive with nothing else on it. So let's just go through the whole process of everything. I, I downloaded, well, I copied over my stream key that I will have blurred out so that we can stream. I'm going to be streaming to Vimeo just so I don't get hit with any type of music or anything. And we're just going to take a little gaming session here, but let's go ahead and open up OBS. And I had already opened this up I didn't do anything, I canceled it, but let's run the auto configuration wizard. And we're gonna do optimize for streaming. And I'm gonna push this to the highest level possible, 1080p at 60 frames a second. Again, it is has the GPU inside. That may leverage it just a little bit, but I don't think so. So let's go ahead and pick Vimeo because that is what I have. And I'm actually not gonna do hardware encoding. Even though I'm gonna let this estimate run, I'm actually gonna ignore it anyway. Yes, let's do a quick test. Let's see what we get from my test results. All right, so it's recommending the output of 640 by 360. So that just tells you this is, um, this system ain't gonna push out a lot of power. So let's go ahead and leave up task manager at the same time, because I want to see how much this system is getting hit when we're running everything. So again, we're gonna ignore all of that. 
and let's go into our settings and for our video we're going to do 1080p 1080 excuse me at 60 frames a second we are going to be streaming to Vimeo I have my key all right now for our output I'm going to push this at 4,000 kilobits per second I am using software which means it's going to be pushing and hitting the um, CPU the entire time so we should see this stuff max out um, in here all right and then we're going to run this test again just to see what it's like if we leverage the GPU just to see how much better it will be but then um, you know we're still going to see it max out now I didn't pay attention to this so the base speed of the CPU of this CPU is 3.2 gigahertz all right now since we don't have anything in here let's go oh I know what I forgot to do I forgot to turn off all this audio as well disable disable and you never know I might jump into I'm obviously going to be playing a little bit but you never know what I might actually talk about because I have the other camera set up for a picture in picture because I really want to kind of hammer the system all right let's set up our capture device and there we go so you see my camera is set up right now as a picture in picture let's scroll down here let's use custom audio so that we can use you saw that system just pause <laughs> right there um, it just tells you how much it can be worked and my controller just fell asleep all right so we want to make sure we're getting some audio and maybe I need to turn the audio on the ATEM all right so let's actually do that software Turn on a mic for my camera, which is my Sony camcorder that's connected. And then we're going to turn on the ATEM as well, too. Let's turn that volume down just a little bit. All right. And I'm going to leave this up as well, too, because we want to hammer the system. As you can see, now we're getting audio. If I. All right. So you can see the audio is going on. So now that we got everything pointing here, let's go ahead and start streaming and let's just see what in the world this system does. As you can see, before we even got started, encoder overloaded. And you look at that. We're at 97%. Um, it's saying here that my stream is unstable. I don't know if you can see that on the screen here. I'm getting a desktop notification because I'm logged into Vimeo. So it's saying right now we're getting hit automatically. So let's let's have a little gaming session here and let's see. So you can take a look at the system um, for this. Now we're going to upgrade this to another processor. I do have option and we're going to show you what that looks like. But this is um, a two core, four thread system using nothing but the software to do live streaming. All right, so let's pause this. I don't know if you can hear me or not. Um, I wasn't talking to the mic. So as you can see, we are getting a massive encoder overload because 4,000 kilobits per second is too much for the system to handle, as you can see. And I'm surprised it's actually hitting the GPU. So let's go ahead and stop the stream. And then we're gonna go back to our settings and now let's switch over as you can see it's dropping now let's switch over to the gpu that's built into this apu and let's see does that change 
it at all. So immediately, we haven't gotten any type of hit for encoder overload. And as you can see, our CPU is around at 50%. But you see our processor is going up. So let's do a little gaming here. It says I'm getting another message saying that the your stream is unstable. But seems to be working fine right now. All right, so let's go ahead and get to some more gaming and let's see how this improves. This is the same processor, but we just went from software encoding to hardware encoding. All right, let's see what's going on so far. So again, we've been at 50 the entire time without any type of issues. We haven't gotten any drop frames here on Vimeo. It's saying that we've had a good connection the entire time. And that just shows you just the difference in when you go from an underpowered CPU to even just, I mean, it's not a powerful GPU that's built into this processor, but just that showed how much of a difference this is. All right. So now what can we do to push this a little bit more? What I'm going to do is take this processor out and then I'm going to put in another one. We're going to put in a, um, a different, well, actually, I'm going to keep the same system and I'm going to put in a different graphics card, um, a standalone card. This is a old NVIDIA card that was placed in the original system as signs and wonders. And that system is not being used anymore. So I got the graphics card and we're going to pop this into the system and then do the same test. But on this processor, this GPU, which is a much super old one and just see what type of performance we would get with that. All right, so we're back here on the system now, and let me get my mouse out the way. Uh, this GPU is actually slower than I thought, so it doesn't have hardware encoding on it, but I don't know if NVIDIA has done some magic to their stuff, but it is a old GT710 um, GPU. So let's see. The Normally with the GTs, um, if there's an X, that means it has hardware encoding built into it. Um, so let me turn on my task manager again, since I had to reboot the system. All right. So let's close this. We want to have as little stuff open as possible. And there you go. There's the GPU, as you can see, a G GeForce GT 710. Now if we go into settings. Go to output. Oh, it actually offers in Vink. That's going to be interesting. Now we don't need to test the CPU again because we already got the specs on that. So now let me wake up my controller again. And for some odd reason, my stream kept it in the square um, size when it was doing the the configuration wizard. So I'll link the original, um, what I stream to, but uh, I don't know why it does that, but either way, we're going to start the stream again using the NVENC and let's see what we get. And as you can see, immediately the GPU jumps up to around 87%. So it's getting worked on. So let's do a little, a little more streaming and let's see what we can get with this one. All right. I think that's enough gaming. As you can see, man, even with this processor, you add a GPU to it, man, it makes a world of difference. So let's go ahead and do this one more time. Um, the other processor that I have on, does not have a GPU built into it. So I'm going to have to use this one just to give graphics, but I'm going to pop this Ryzen 5 3600 into it and 
just see what it, I mean, because at this point we can see that the GPU actually benefits this system. Um, if this is the only thing it was doing now, I wouldn't try and task the computer doing more things than just this, like having a whole bunch of scenes or something like that in OBS. I wouldn't do that, but let's go ahead and throw in a faster processor and just see what the performance would be if we switch back to just encoding and streaming off of the CPU. Alrighty, folks, we are back. We got our system upgraded and let's show you what we got in the system. Now we now have a Ryzen 5 3600 with what? Uh, six cores and 12 threads. All right. Still got the same GPU. All right. So let's go ahead and open up where we left off at. And we're going to cut back over here, go to our settings, our output. We're going to switch this back to using software, which is going to be hitting the CPU. Now, remember when we did this, those two cores, those two cores and those four threads for the 200 GE processor were hammered and went to 97% and instantly were giving us encoder overload. A bunch of y'all have contacted me saying you're getting encode, encoder overload. That because you're hammering the system and the system can't keep up with the bit rate that you have on the system and trying to process and all that other stuff at the same time. So now let's go ahead and start streaming and let's see what we get now. And let's look at how the system is being affected. All right. So first off, we don't see any um, encoder overload. The GPU is not being utilized. The processor, because we have more threads and more cores that can handle it, we aren't even, we, we're not even going over 20%. Um, again, this just shows you, and then right here at the bottom here, OBS is using 15%. I mean, it, it makes a difference how much power you have behind your system. Um, a simple upgrade to a GPU could benefit it, but honestly, throwing a CPU, if you're able to, and you're comfortable with doing that, which is a little bit more intense than installing the GPU, not hard, but just a little more into it, but look, we, we haven't changed nothing in the settings and just look how much of a better performance we got. So let's go ahead and switch up the game one more time and let's try something different and just push, push the system. So looking at it right now, again, <laughs> where all the work is being left on the CPU and it, it ain't doing nothing. I mean, it's just doing its thing. Hopefully that makes sense. Let me go ahead and stop the stream. And again, hopefully that would give you an impression of just what your hardware is actually going through when it's trying to run the system. Again, it's not about me trying to sell anything to y'all. I mean, cause I mean, if you ain't contacted me, I mean, it's no benefit to me. I just want to help y'all out because a lot of times I'm seeing, Oh, the video and the audio is out of sync. Oh, the audio is sounding like this. The video is sounding like this. The picture is like this. The system is like this. Mainly it's a power. That's the issue. Your CPU is not fast enough to handle all that stuff and you don't have any form of um, 3D accelerated GPU in here that you can offload that stuff. Now, both of the, the GPU in the 200 GE and that GT710, um, that is bare bones and it greatly enhanced what the live stream looked like just with that, like that GT710. That's what I used to use a lot of times when graphics cards were getting kind of difficult to find, but thankfully the prices are coming down. If you really had to go that low, um, you can get one of those for maybe around $75 on Amazon. But honestly, at this point, you could almost get a, um, a 3050, um, 
a NVIDIA RTX 3050 for maybe around like 300 some dollars. And that's going to give you more of a current GPU um, that can give you a lot. At a certain point, you know, you might want to upgrade the processor, but that just shows you the difference between when you have an underpowered system, what its capabilities are when you're trying to live stream compared to you just making small little changes, adding a GPU, or more importantly, um, adding a G, uh, faster CPU and just the performance that you can get from it. So the link is going to be down below to some of the GPUs that recommend it. And again, I know some people might say that I'm an AMD fanboy, really don't care. It's just that those are the processors that have been doing me well. And that's what I stick with because I never recommend anything that I don't personally use myself. So um, I think actually Dylan is probably reaching out, probably going to um, be blessing their ministry with that system as well, too, to help them out. But that's going to be for presentations. But anyway, let me know if you have any other questions. I really hope this helps you understand and see firsthand um, if you're seeing any of the issues with the streams, what most likely is the cause of it, as well as when most of the time y'all ask me, I respond back asking for the specs of the system. All right. Links are also down below to all of the streams that I did. I'm going to see if I can move them over to YouTube. Um, but if not, they'll probably stay on Vimeo. But anyway, if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching folks. This is AJ. We'll catch you on the next video later.